So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys were one of the theme song shortened. So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer, or Martha Butler, does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Hi everybody, Martha here. So today we're doing um, episode three of Gym Patrol, uh, season two, episode three, Gym Patrol. So this one was just as weird as the other ones. Um, bizarre, everything. They're not changing, are they? And. So, we're seeing uh, the chief as a, as a kid. For some reason, they have a girl playing him. Like they can't. <laughs> you can't make me not tell that. But I, I don't like when they do that. <laughs> and they, they're not fooling anybody. We know that. So okay. <laughs> So, and she was not even hiding her voice, trying to make it sound boy boyish. She did not try at all. <laughs> but, okay. She bumps into, like, they're saying he's old enough to be around when Jack the Ripper was around. And that's what Jack the Ripper looked like. He had, like, a bunch of knives and had a mask on. And he turned people into butterflies. What? Because they basically said this guy has done like a bunch of, has been, has called a bunch of other names, and one of them was Jack the Ripper. And he kidnapped um, Larry after he came back, from, after he's come walking back from his son's funeral. So Rita and the chief have to go after him. Um, Cliff and Jane go on to see um, Cliff's daughter. She's pregnant and she's about to have like a baby shower. And he's wants to go and see her and give her like a little toy giraffe. But apparently, since he thought she, he was dead, and this is the way it looks like, he does not, she wants nothing to do with him and she thinks. She wants to keep on thinking that, that that her dad's dead, and she's just she's just calling the cops on him, make him leave. So he ends up like beat up the um, the bus that he came in, and the cops don't arrest him. They just stay there until wait until he leaves. Um, and Jane, she's suddenly falling asleep and having like interventions with herself, with her personalities, telling her. They want to leave and never go back. Never be around any of them. Not even Cliff, who thinks who thinks of her as a, as a replacement daughter. And if you don't leave, one of us is gonna take over and be the primary. So yeah. And she doesn't care because by the, end of the episode she ends up in a cage. They were not joking, and I guess. Um, while this is going on, um, Victor is have Victor is um trying to have a relationship with his girl that is a lot like him who has who has um battle scars, little battle scars, but they were like burns because um it's like right it's like right where her who do have a shirt and someone on her arm too, so yeah that's how badly b burnt she is, like. Three degrees burns or something like that. 
and that was like, like what type of soldier she was. And he tries to tell her she's he doesn't care because he has he's just as bad as her, but not with burns, but with part like robot bar robot parts. So they um end up having, you know and uh he tries to date her, but apparently I guess he didn't he thought that she wasn't coming, but she was about to come out to go to the restaurant with him and ended up leaving. I guess he she was taking too long. And so I guess he's gonna go back. And apparently um Jack the Ripper was gonna offer him place to be after she to be his apprentice and allow him to like live forever. We would have to go around killing people, basically. So he says no. So he was gonna turn um Larry, Rita, and him into button butterflies and put them into like show people like um like into cages like and be like selling as some um, trophies. So he ends up like falling out of his out of his um I was wheelchair and up killing him and saving him saving um Rita and Larry. So and Larry's having like little um flashbacks to when he was when he first came to um the chief's place and how um Rita and him were like his first people that he was experimenting on and how they both just learned to um be lost causes together and help help each other feel better. And like Rita was helping him feel better and, and same thing with Larry. And Larry is like saying I'm like your biggest fan and stuff like that. And he sure he both of them were a little um uncomfortable at first, but once they learned to accept each other, they were less uncomfortable because that was their home. So yeah. This was a good episode. Hope the next one's just as freaky and bizarre as the next one. And while this is going on, um, poor, um, Dorothy is playing with her um, imaginary friends, Darlene and the, tr and the big tarantula. And I go seek. Um, what is going on? Um, she ends up, like, bump, finding, um, Danny the brick and accidentally breaking him. Um, because um, her big tarantula friend startled her, and she, when she gets home, she um, says sorry to her dad, and says, and he, he explains to her, sometimes saying sorry does not make things all better, you have to actually fix it. So, yeah, so he's actually going to try to, hopefully he can fix Danny, and put the brick back together again. Hopefully he won't end up like Humpty Dumpty, sadly. <laughs> So, so I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna give this episode a um, a um, nine out of ten, and Solly gives it off a pause in a sale. So yes, I mostly do the first take because I don't like repeating myself. It's a little tiring. So yeah, for people who wonder, yes, I. Try my best to do it on my first taste, so I had to repeat myself. So, hope you guys are okay with that. Bye!